Hi, my and board game lovers. Here's something for you. This is a video to teach you how to play the bidding game Saladin Triplet by Claudia Haley and Roman Pelik, co-published by Jolly Thinkers and Bernard Swine Fiesta. This game features sketches of real wines from seven wineries over the world, drawn by a Hong Kong wine blogger Bernard Lang. Each winery is represented by a different color of the wine cards. The number on the cards tells the value of the wine, and there are also one to three stars to show its rank. Each game is divided into a number of rounds, and each round starts with the wine auction, where players get their new wines. They may then stock their own pyramid sellers and score points immediately. The rounds repeat until the draw deck is finished. At the end of the game, the player with the most points wins. To bid for wines, players bid with wines in their hand. Each auction starts with the player with the coaster. He puts his coaster next to the market and makes a bid by playing the wine cards from his hand. The other players take their turns clockwise. They may make a higher bid or a lower one, but never the same. On later turns, they may add more cards to the previous bid. When they pass, they place their wooden bottle token onto their own bid. The auction ends when all but one player have passed. Of course, it's possible to pass without bidding. Simply draw two cards from the deck, keep the one with the smaller value, and return the other to the bottom of the deck. However, passing without bidding also means passing on the wine exchange next. The wine exchange then follows. The highest bidder wins the wines in the market and replaces them with his bid. He also takes the coaster. The second highest bidder then takes all the wines from the market and replaces them with his own bid again. The exchange continues until everyone who has bid receives their new wines. After adding the new wines into their hand, Everyone may choose to build their 5-level pyramid cellar. You may play any number of cards onto your cellar, even none, but keep no more than 6 cards in your hand. A new card can only be added adjacent to the existing ones, or on another level with two bottles right below it. For each card you place, you score 1 point for each star on it, plus some bonus points for any triplet combo it forms. An empty bottle can be placed on an empty space as normal, but it can be covered by a wine bottle on later turns. To score bonus points with a triplet, the three cards must be of the same background color and their star ranks must be all the same or all different. They may form a straight line horizontally or diagonally. They may also form an upright triangle or an inverted one. A triplet with all different star ranks scores one bonus point, while one with all identical cards scores four bonus points. At the end of each round, reveal the market up to four cards. Play the last round when the card deck is empty. Count your points to see who becomes the most famous in the wine industry. Definitely a game for your wine and game table. What are you waiting for?